if you're a president, a former president, or a former vice president, it appears you have national security information at your house. Okay. So obviously there's a problem. But is that problem worth having three special counsels, which is what you got going right now? Now, you don't have one on Pence, although the FBI has now said they're interviewing, they're reviewing it. They're interviewing witnesses. They're looking at all this. So obviously there's an issue with how classified documents are handled during transitions. And Merrick Gartland decides to weaponize or give the FBI all this authority, and guess what happened? Now they've weaponized it on every, all these formers. And I think we're looking like a third world country, Professor Hutchinson, director of policy for the ACLJ. We look like a third world country when you have the former president under a special counsel investigation, which is criminal, the current president under a special counsel, who, which is criminal, and the former vice president having to deal with the FBI at his house for, or possibly at his house for documents that were also classified. So you would say to yourself, maybe there's something wrong with the way that is handled in this transition, but it makes us look very weak globally. I think that is precisely correct, and we're precisely in this particular position because Merritt Garland, in my judgment, is a particularly weak attorney general. So there was insufficient evidence, I will argue, uh, to um, appoint a special prosecutor with respect to former President Trump. But once you go down that road, then it leads directly uh, to the misconduct or alleged misconduct involving President Biden as vice president. And more likely than not, we will see a third special uh, counsel uh, with respect to former Vice President Pence. And so I, one of the things that you've said earlier, Jay, which I think is precisely correct, this is really a documents yes. dispute. This is not really a national security matter. Right. And so what Merritt Garland has done Weak. is he has phonied up, if you will, the Department of Justice and converted a documents dispute into a national security slash criminal matter. He's taken it makes a, no he's, sense. He takes a document dispute between the National Archives and former presidents and current presidents and former vice presidents and converted it literally into a federal case. And not a civil federal case, a criminal federal case. I don't like special counsels. I don't like the special counsel uh, regulations. I think it's ridiculous. I think none of these cases should be brought by special counsels. I think they should have gotten these documents back and stopped the nonsense rather than, and that goes by the way, with your former President Trump or for, or a current President Biden who was former president, Vice President or Vice President, former Vice President Pence. None of these should be handled this way as criminal matters. Representative Mike Waltz, a good friend of this broadcast, a congressman from Florida, here's what he had to say. Clearly the process is broken and we've got to take a hard look at GSA and how they and the intelligence community uh, pack these documents, get them to wherever the president, vice president's going. He's right. But instead, we've got special counsels and all the news is going to this. Now, I saved it till the end today because I didn't want to talk about it today until the end because it's making us look weak as a country. OK, so here's, you know, when you saw that you had the stuff going on with Trump and, and the NSA, uh, excuse me, the, the National Archives. And that going back and forth, and then it gets elevated up to where Merrick Garland authorizes a search warrant. Then you have it go. the president of the United States, current president of the United States, in his garage has classified documents next to his Corvette, then in his home office, then in his Biden uh, Penn, University of Pennsylvania office, who's also getting funding from China. But you know what? In all those cases, and then you got Mike Pence. Mike said, hey, you shouldn't handle documents that way. And then lo and behold, he's got them. I, I like these people. Don't get me wrong. But you know what? Merrick Gartland should take responsibility. should get up in front of that podium at the Department of Justice and say, you know what? This is not good for the United States of America. This just makes us look really weak. So you know what we're going to do? I'm going to haul off the dogs here, and I'm going to get these documents back, and we're going back to – you know, start over again because this is not working out because I think it's making us look really weak.